Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. This is the week of July 12, 2021. And this week we've got four stories, starting with the Mini SE. And you may think, well, Mini SE is kind of all news. Yes, it is, except there's actually some additional information that may be of interest. We're gonna talk about the market shares for DJI. They're actually dropping over the last couple of years and we'll see where the data is coming from. We'll talk about the FAA that's asking you to comment on some new paperwork that they put out. And I'm actually gonna make a video. I have a video available for this uh, to explain everything because it's, well, it's, it's, it's kind of something that you need to be paying attention to. And the last thing, it sounds like something that we talk about every single week, which is somebody shot another drone, this time a sheriff's drone, which is not a good idea. So let's get to it. The first thing this week is an interesting story from the Mini SE. Now, if you're not familiar, we, we covered it a little bit, but uh, the Mini SE is essentially the, the original Mini with... Uh, some changes that uh, DJI put out. And there was some information, people were able to find it in Walmart, it showed up on the Walmart website, and then DJI came back and basically said, no, we're not gonna sell the Mini SE in the US, it's only gonna be in Russia, uh, Southeast countries, uh, Southeast Asia countries, and then South America, and then uh, we're not gonna sell it in the US or in Europe. And now Drone Excel is reporting that there are FCC filings and it looks like the launch is gonna be on July 15th, which is only a few days away. So we'll find out what happens. I trust the information from Haya and from Drone Excel, especially if we've seen FCC filings. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if the PR people at DJI uh, maybe get a little bit confused about the Mini SE. Next thing is, talking about DJI, market shares for DJI have been dropping in the last couple of years, and this shouldn't be any surprise. There's more competition available um, out there, more companies that are on the up and coming uh, list. And uh, this is a report from Skywatch. Skywatch is a drone insurance company, and um, they've been keeping the data from several years from their customers, what kind of drone are they flying. And if we look back in 2018, Skywatch's customer base was about 94% using DJI products. Now, in 2021, the first half, that has dropped by 7%. Now, you may think 7%, not that big of a deal, still 87% for DJI. Yes, but this was in a matter of, you know, three years. Obviously, Hotel, uh, Hotel is one of them. Hotel went from 0.7% to 5.1%. Uh, we've seen Hotel a lot in the news recently. They just added a new person to their team again uh, since their new CEO took, uh, took over the, the lead. We have Skydio is now up to 1.5%. Now, back in 2018, Skydio was 0% because, well, Skydio wasn't in existence back then. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if the trend continues. Obviously, like I said, a lot more competition, a lot more uh, companies that are creating products that are uh, similar or sometimes superior to what DJI is putting out. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on that. The interesting part about that survey or that, that information that uh, Skywatch put out was the fact that uh, the value of insured drone has gone up as well. The average seems to be around $2,300 back in 2018, and then now it's up to $2,900, so a 22% increase uh, in insured value for the drone. So. Um, this is a bit of a tougher one to explain. My guess is people that are flying just more expensive drones in general. I don't think the price necessarily has gone up in drones. Actually, we've seen a lot of drones and the price and for the, for the, the, the technology has gone down. So just people having access to more expensive drones, more companies that are actually starting to use their drone uh, or starting to use expensive drones for their programs as well. So again, an interesting trend. Third story this week is the FAA put out a new document. Now, if you're not familiar with any of this, there's a video right here that I put out that has all the information that you need and um, kind of an explanation of what you should be doing about this. But this document is an advisory circular. An advisory circular is a document that the FAA puts out that essentially highlights not regulation per se, but guidance on how you should be um, while well, doing certain things. Advisory circulars exist for a ton of different things, including drones. This is AC9157, now Charlie. Charlie, the last letter, is the, the, the number of the update, the letter of the update. So currently, Bravo is the current update, B, and then C, Charlie, is the new uh, proposed update. And this advisory circular is designed for recreational flyers. So if you don't understand 
USC 44809, which is where the regulation lives for recreational flyers, then the FAA has this advisory circular that's going to help you make sense of it and give you additional guidance. So uh, this document has been historically about five to seven pages, not very long. And this new proposed rule is, uh, I think, 17 or 18 pages long. So a lot of additions in here and a lot of additions because now the FAA is going to do what they said they're going to be doing for about two and a half years, which is establish CBOs. CBOs are community-based organizations. CBOs are error modeling groups, okay, or error modeling clubs like the AMA, like Flight Test, Flight Test Community Association. They basically put out guidelines for their members. And the FAA said in the regulation, actually Congress said in 44809, that you need to pick CBO guidelines. They didn't say you have to become part of a, of a CBO. They said you have to pick CBO guidelines before you fly. And if the FAA were to come and ask you questions, then you would basically have to say, well, this is the CBO that I'm using. So with all that being said, this document highlights what the CBO guidelines may look like in the future. This is a draft document. The FAA is asking for comments. I highly recommend that you go and watch this video right here so you can be educated about what is in the new advisory circular. If it's something that maybe you don't agree with, then you should be submitting a comment to the FA. I also show you how to submit a comment to the FA. So all the details are up there, but I wanted to bring this up because, well, because not a whole lot of people are talking about it. And I feel like this has implications. Okay. This, this, there the, the are things that we're going to have to live with when you fly as a recreational flyer. I don't fly as a recreational flyer anymore. I fly under part 107 all the time, but if you plan to fly as a recreational flyer, this is something that you need to consider and make sure that you're paying attention. Okay, last story this week. And it feels like we're talking about this every single week. And um, and I'm always thinking of, jokingly, of starting a, a segment called Who Got Shot This Week? Because now this is coming out of Florida, uh, Lake County, Florida, and somebody decided to shoot at a drone that was flying near their property. And, um, and as we all know, if you're watching this channel, it is okay to fly over people's property. You should be conscientious about it, but there's nothing that pro pro prohibits you or prevents you from flying over somebody's property. And um, this person decided to shoot at it, shoot the drone down actually. And um, the sh drone came out of the sky, landed somewhere nearby structure and caught fire. Turns out this was a drone from a sheriff's office that they were using to fly. And uh, the person was immediately arrested and uh, they identified who it was. They, was. they actually went to talk to him and he said, yeah, yeah, that was me, I did it. So uh, just don't do that, okay? Don't shoot at drones. It is against federal regulation. There is a bunch of ongoing investigations at the moment from things that we have reported on. Hopefully we find more information soon that we can talk about, but something needs to happen. This is, this is a bad trend that we've seen um, of drones being shot out of the sky and people getting harassed and people getting uh, uh, guns brandished at them. So um, not something that we want to keep seeing. So anyway, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I love interacting with you guys every week. Uh, thanks for watching us every single Friday. I know a lot of you uh, made the comment that you come here every Friday, you drink your coffee or you drink your tea, uh, watching what we do and, and we appreciate that. So um, that's all I have. I'll see you guys next week and fly safe.